Hey, very good day. What actually happens when you double your power? So if you've got an HF antenna, uh, sorry, an HF radio, and you're doing, let's say, 100 watts, and you double it to 200 watts, you put a little amplifier on, you get 200 out the other end. Now, we know that doubling something gives you an extra 3 dB. Now, we can, can you hear 3 dB? Well, here we are. Could you see 3 dB? So I've got a balloon here. I'm going to blow it up and make it a 100 watt radio. All right, hang on. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'll do a half breath. I'll try and practice. All right. That is 100 watts, let's say. So if we double the power and put another half breath in, which is about that size, there's not a lot of difference between the two. So let's tie this off and make it a 200 watt visualization program. 200 watts. Let's just blow this up to 100. I think you would agree it was about there, wasn't it? And should we attempt a 400 watt? <laughs> we'll find out, I suppose. Hang on. Should be bigger. I'll give it a tiny bit more for the visualization. I mean, that's maybe 500. Right. So. So rather than trying to hear the difference in. So rather than trying to hear the difference in terms of signal strength, we can now visualize it. So here's our 100 watt radio TS 590, TS 2000. Eight, nine, seven, or you know, just a regular radio. Right next to it is 200 watts. So I want you to imagine that's your antenna pattern. If we had an antenna that could only, you know, it looked like that, basically, and you put another 100 watts into it, you don't get much more. Do you think you're going to be substantially different to the other guy, the next guy? Probably not. Now I want you to imagine 400 watts next to 100. Now there is. Can you see me? There is a bit of difference, but it's not as big as you imagine. So one way, way, <laughs> way, one way, leave those balloons there. One way of getting more gain is to focus, because you can't get, once you put your, once you put your power down your coax into your antenna, you can't get any more power. You, an antenna doesn't make power. What it does, it focuses, so it might squash it lower to the ground, it might focus it more in that, in that direction, and that's the only way you can get more power out of your antenna. So when people say, if you've got a 100 watt radio, and people say, oh, it's just a, you know, some gigantic gain, you know, on their antenna. How's that actually doing, right? Uh, because let's face it, a, a vertical basically looks ugh, with like a donut, like that. A dipole, on the other hand, looks like a donut that's all the way through. You can't get any more power off a dipole than there already is. Similarly, like in the UK, we have the foundation license and the intermediate license. One is a 10 watts. So if you remember, that was 100. Let's call that 10 now. And then when you go to intermediate, you go to 50. And I think we agreed that was somewhere between 400 and 500. So it's a factor of 10. So there's 10 watts. There's nearly 50 watts. All right. There's not a lot in it. It's just a good way of understanding and visualizing how power will affect your ham radio world. All right, next video's coming up here. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. All the best. Oops, bye for now. Bye.